In the previous video, we thought about adding up the values of finite collections of numbers. In this video, we will use summation notation to talk about adding, without end, more and more numbers to a running total. In some situations, adding arbitrarily many numbers generates running totals that become arbitrarily close to a finite number. In other situations, adding arbitrarily many numbers generates running totals that exceed any finite number that can be conceived. We begin with an example of a convergent infinite series. In this example, S labels the infinite geometric series. S equals the sum from k equals 0 to infinity of a constant coefficient capital A times R taken to the kth power. We enumerate k starting from 0 in increments of one integer step and increasing without end. If r is less than 1, each term in the sum is a factor r smaller than the previous. If we add only the heights of the first two bars, we get a smaller total than if we add instead the first three bars. Adding together the heights of more and more bars produces larger and larger totals. To see what happens as we try to add more and more bars without end, zoom out in the vertical axis so that the vertical bars representing the individual terms in the summation are visually short. In this example, it appears that we can add as many bars as we choose and get arbitrarily close to a total height that we never exceed. What value does our running total approach as we continue to add arbitrarily many terms one by one? To address this question, we perform the following algebraic manipulations. r taken to the zeroth power equals 1. Factor out the coefficient r from the remaining series to reveal the sum s with which we started. Move the term rs to the left-hand side and divide by the coefficient 1 minus r to conclude that s equals a over the quantity 1 minus r. The process of starting with a, then adding a r, then adding a r squared, and so forth produces a running total that becomes arbitrarily close to a over 1 minus r as more and more terms are added. Substituting a and r into a over 1 minus r is easier than manually adding terms in the sum without end. We've just studied an example of an infinite series that converges. Its running totals become arbitrarily close to a number, a over 1 minus r, as more and more terms are added. The condition, r is less than 1, means that terms in the series become successively small. As we will show by considering the harmonic series, running totals can become arbitrarily large even when individual terms in a sum become successively small. S is now the infinite harmonic series, namely the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of 1 over k, which is 1, plus 1 over 2, plus 1 over 3, plus 1 over 4, and so forth. Group the 1 3rd and the 1 4th together, the 1 5th, the 1 6th, the 1 7th, and the 1 8th together, and so forth. Term by term inspection shows that S is larger than another series, 1 plus 1 half plus 2 copies of a quarter plus 4 copies of an eighth and so on. 1 third is larger than 1 fourth, and 1 fifth, 1 sixth, and 1 seventh are each larger than 1 eighth. The terms in each pair of parentheses add up to 1 half, and the process of starting with 1 and then adding copies of 1 half over and over creates running totals that become larger and larger without bound. The running totals prescribed by S grow even faster than these. Thus, the running totals prescribed by S grow without bound. In these two videos, we have introduced sums, practiced working with summation notation by illustrating the Gauss summation trick, and studied an example of an infinite series that is convergent, and an example of an infinite series that is divergent.